Hi, my name is Theo and today I'm going to show you how to edit the layout in your irrigation system and turn it into a plan for your customer or your craftsman. We are going to switch from irrigation mode to layout mode. On the top left is the page manager. Here we have the first layout. With the plus button we can add another layout. Here we can copy it, delete it or rename it. Let's call it customer layout. At the bottom right in the toolbox we find the tools to change the layout. First we choose the paper size. We have the choice from A4 to A0 in horizontal or vertical. A4 horizontal is pre-selected. Or we change it into vertical and the layout changes. We should adjust the size of the desired print variant. We choose A3 horizontal. The size of the image has changed accordingly now. As the size of the image is too small now, we click upper right on fit to screen and it's centered. Now we add a stamp to the sheet. We fill it with information. For example, the customer name. The address. And our company name. Now we need to adjust the size of the image to the size of the sheet. For this we select the drawing mode in the status bar. If we keep the mouse wheel pressed we can change the position of the image. If we scroll the mouse wheel we can enlarge and reduce the image. In the left toolbox we can also choose fit in layout or scaling to different scales. We switch back to layout mode and configure the plan. First we change the visual appearance of the drawing. We choose visual style in the toolbox. The layout mode, this one is very reduced and largely black and white. The landscape mode shows us the landscape drawing from the drawing mode. The sprinkler mode shows us the irrigation system with all its components and sprinkler coverage. The precipitation mode, as the name implies, shows the coverage of precipitation. Here we can see if we have enough sprinklers. We will stay in layout mode. At the bottom right we find the Show Layers Manager. With this we can enlarge, reduce or hide all layers and all elements of the plan. The layers are divided into groups. The elements of each group can be edited individually. For example, enlarge the sprinklers. Draw the outer lines of the spray radius stronger. Or hide them completely. The elements from the landscape can also be changed. 
for example the pattern of the lawn. Or enlarge the pipes, in this case the drip lines. Or the notes, just as the valve boxes or the computer. And we can hide everything. To make the individual irrigation zones stand out from each other in terms of color, we select Zone Coloring in the toolbox. We can configure a separate color for each zone. Or we can simply press the Random button. As we can see, the supply lines to the sprinkler are colored marked. And the connected sprinklers now have the color marked as well. So we can see at a single view which sprinkler belongs to which zone. If we check paint sprinkler cover, we can see the cover of the respective sprinkler zone in the sprinkler mode in visual style. We can add various information to the consumers or the pipe. We choose consumer info in the toolbox and check the box name. And confirm with show height. Now Eerie Sketch shows us every nozzle and every sprinkler. Furthermore, the sprinkler body, the name of the zone, the radius, the sector, the consumption, the pressure, and the reduction. I can also adjust the size of the information. For example, make it smaller so everything is displayed with a better overview. Let's make a new layout to make the installed pipes clearly visible. For this we copy the plan. Rename it and jump over to the layer manager to hide all the items we don't need in this layout. As the drip line, the other consumers and even the whole landscape. We can also display information about the pipes as I said. I'd like to show the diameter in a different size. Eerie Sketch, as you can see, uses different diameters of the pipes. 32 mm for the main pipe, which is the red one. And the lateral pipe with 25 mm diameter. Except for the green pipe, which is also planned with 32 mm. If we show information about the flow, we can see immediately why Eerie Sketch decided to do this. The flow rate as a green pipe, which is a zone with RVN nozzles, is about 2400 liters per hour. And the flow rate at the other pipes is about 500 to 1000 liters. Eerie Sketch automatically chooses the next suitable diameter. Let's get back to our first layout. We can now complete the plan with various tables and elements out of the upper left box. We got the landscape table, which shows information about the square meters of each surface. For example, the lawn area and the concrete area. The lawn area is about 418 square meters, which is the area we used to draw. 
here it is. The symbol table shows us a legend and the number of installed elements of the irrigation system. These tables can also be edited. We can change the order of the row and the columns or delete whole rows and columns. Here in the toolbox we can change the styling, as for example the size. or delete the table completely. The zone table shows an overview of all irrigation zones. We have the names of the zones, which as we know can be changed when planning the irrigation. We see the valve box to which the zone is connected, the zone type, for example, grip line or sprinkler, and the color of the zone. Furthermore, the number of consumers, the water flow and length, the amount of precipitation and the size of the irrigated area. When we mark the table, these eye icons appear. By clicking them, we jump directly to the selected zone in the plan. The sprinkler table gives different information about each sprinkler in the plan. As this table could be very large, it's advisable to put it on a separate sheet. Here again we can jump over to each sprinkler as we click it on the eye icon. We can still add various visual elements to the drawing. For example, at elements we can find a compass or a scaling bar. Especially interesting for the craftsman are the dimensions which can help to place the sprinklers or the drip lines. Just click on each point and the distance is shown on scale. These layout elements can also be customized. We can change the front size, the line white and color the size, side and the offset. Furthermore, we got text which can be very helpful. Just place them everywhere you want in the plan. For example, to name the valve boxes. Once you have customized your plan to your preferences, you can print it directly or save it as an image file or PDF. And that's it. Now you know how to edit the layout in your plan and give your customer or your craftsman a clear handout.